quite an interesting little roundabout. There's a train! A train! Paul, get out of the way! Right, this is um, Springfield Road. Let's just call this roundabout. Let's just call it Springfield Road roundabout. I think that sounds like a good name for it, doesn't it? Um, probably it does. I mean, look at the look at the time they spent designing this. We'll go right over the top. It's funny how I criticise driving, but people get really upset about it. <laughs> but I mean, I do as well, so I've got to be realistic about this. I don't like being criticised either, so it, it's a bit of a strange thing, really. You know, but that Volkswagen did it perfectly, and this Volkswagen's going to do it perfectly. It's just like, um, it's really. It's, it's, I suppose I'm pointing out human frailty, really, aren't I? Including my own. Uh, is really what's happening. Oh, look, there's a van coming. Fuck. <laughs> I can't have got in my roundabout because of that van. <laughs> can't have done it. Supercharge your world. No. Oh, is that when the van goes around putting them um, charging points in houses and set fire to houses? Well, that's not a good idea. Don't do that. Don't ever do it. It's an extremely bad idea. It's like having a petrol station at your house. I've done stupid things like that, by the way. I've done, like, mad things that, you know, the, like, uh, that type of thing. And it's not good. It's very silly. Uh, look, uh, a couple of, uh, there's uh, three seagulls there. Yeah. So I know quite a lot about nature as well. Look at that, it's a pigeon. Black pigeon. Oh, don't pick on the black pigeons! So, I mean, even a little round about like this, you think you're not going to do a video. I've, I wanted to go on it and it's just been too busy. Oh, a Range Rover, it'll maybe catch fire. Um, pretty well, you know, roundabouted. They did a good job. Uh, there's a, what's that up there? Is that a carpet warehouse? Uh, maybe it is. Have you noticed I say really strange things? Uh, it just sort of, it's not like I like, I don't wake up in the morning and think I'm going to say really strange things today. It just kind of happens and stuff comes out of my head, you know, and you can't really like make any sense of it really. I, I'm as much in the dark as, about it as you are really. I mean, I don't really understand what the hell's going on. You know, seven days roofing. So that means it's not been a leak for the first seven days. See, I'm so cynical as well. <laughs> that, that comes with, oh, there's uh, one of them Maseratis. Mm, so cynical. I'm going over it now. Look, we're on it. We're on the fucking roundabout. <laughs> right, time to go home for breakfast. There's the bus. Even a dull shit, shitty little roundabout like this can come up with some interesting conversations. So the idiot's going to. But if I'm on a bus, I'm an idiot as well, okay? I'm not trying to put down people down who go on buses. But generally, you don't see Klaus Schwab on a bus, do you? When he's using his Learjet. You know, or his. You know, he wants, so basically you've got dystopian, utopian future. So dystopian future is for you and me. The utopian future is for globalists who tell us that the world's coming to an end. And there's an old Volkswagen Golf. Uh, that, they actually kind of be bad cars then because they still go, you know. They seem to, well, they seem to last all right. You know, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.